I'm still learning. View carré is a French word that means, or French phrase, it is, it is the French name for the French Quarter of New Orleans. And this drink dates back to sometime around the 1930s. It is a classic drink. It has been requested many times on the show. I don't have a lot more information on it. I can tell you that I've never had it before, and I am following what I found to be the best, most historic spec for this drink I could find. And I'm gonna make it and test it out for you guys right here for the very first time on how to drink down in New Orleans. Probably gonna end a lot of sentences that way. My, my mustache has this one hair that sometimes curls up and goes up my nose. Holy hell is that itchy. I'm gonna start with two dashes of Peixos bitters. Two dashes of Angostura. A bar spoon of Benedictine. Benedictine is a herbal liqueur. Now equal parts, three quarters of an ounce each. Rye. Cognac. And sweet vermouth. Three quarters. One thing I like to do with vermouths and wines is preserve them using private preserve. This is nothing more than an inert gas that is heavier than oxygen. And you shake it up and spray it into the bottom here. That's it. Now there's no oxygen in here at all. And we don't need to worry about this oxidizing going bad. Pretty cool stuff. $10 a can. There's an affiliate link in the pinned comment below. Now I'm gonna stir this over ice. French court is pretty neat. I, I mean, when I was there, it was dead. I've been, in New I've been in New Orleans once and it was not like tourist season when I was there. I really, it felt like an old European city. It didn't seem like a big wild party destination when I was there at all. Put this in a little rocks glass over a big old ice cube. Okay, so I need a twist of lemon to garnish with. Lay that across the top. All right, that's it. That's the View Carré. I think it was supposedly invented at the Carousel Bar at the Hotel Monteleon down in New Orleans. I've never had one of these. I like that a lot. That is a spirit forward somewhere like it's almost like a cross between a Sazerac and a Manhattan. It has a lot of that going on. It is boozy in the best way possible but also vegetal, which I think that's why I kind of perceive it as being a little like a Sazerac. The lemon twist on top, plus the Benedictine. You do get some anisette coming from the Peixot's bitters, just a little bit, but the inclusion of the vermouth makes it a lot like a Manhattan. That's cool, it's like two drinks in one. That's a really well-balanced drink. No wonder this is such a classic and I've had so many requests for it. It can't be, I don't know how I would improve upon this. For me, this is a great drink. It is bitter in a pleasant way. Not quite as bitter as a Negroni for sure, but it's on that, it's on its way there. It's not sour. Bracing, strong drink, well balanced. You get some some of the raisininess from the cognac. I always think it tastes like raisins to me. I guess if I was going to do anything with this, put my own spin on it, I might like it just a drop sweeter. I'm gonna put in like a scant, like a half a bar spoon of maraschino, I think would be nice in this drink. There we go, just like a few drops. Just gonna stir that in. Definitely doesn't need it. And already it was a drink that I, I thoroughly enjoyed, but it wouldn't be a drink that I would want every single day. It, was not my it would not be my, qualify for my favorite drink. It needed to be just a little sweeter. Let's see if this does that for me. I'm not sure. No, I don't think I made it any better at all. Nope, I wouldn't do that. Skip that, bad idea. Well, that's how you make a uh, view of Carré. A lot of great drinks come out of New Orleans. A lot of great foods. Oh man, I love me some food from New Orleans. Ooh. It was a period of time when like, I thought crawfish etouffee was all I needed. I didn't eat that. Now, if I eat it, I, I, this is really sad. It's like one of the saddest things. I can't eat it anymore. If I eat it, I just get in like, I break into a cold sweat and like feel like I'm gonna have, go into shock or something. Like, it's just so rich. My body can't take it anymore. I don't know, it's a bummer because that was one of my favorite foods on earth. I was in New Orleans once for 48 hours. Went on a vampire tour. 
They showed us where people had been murdered for their blood around the city, supposedly. It's pretty neat. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. My watches are provided courtesy of my good friends at Crown & Caliber. If you're interested in watches, why don't you check them out? There's a link down in the pinned comment right beneath me. All the bar tools I use on how to drink are provided by Barfly Mixology Gear. If you want any of the tools I'm using on the show, you can pick them up in the affiliate link in the pinned comment below. I am on Twitter at How to Drink. I am on Instagram at How to Drink. I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink. And if you want to watch me play video games or do other things, I'm on twitch.tv slash Greg from HTD. If you want to check that kind of thing out. You can join the Ding Dong Gang by ring a ding a ding a dang dong my bells. Oh, that sounded even dirtier than normal. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been the ruin of many poor boy. And God, I know I'm one. My mother was a tailor. She sewed my new blue jeans. And my father was a gambling man down in New Orleans.